mental colors. Are you having a good time, Carmelo? Okay, so Carmelo is busy with the tornado. Yay. Eva fell asleep on the couch like this. She was eating butter with this spoon. So I'm gonna leave all that there for right now so she doesn't move. And Hiddo, what are you watching? And Hiddo Little Shop. Hmm? Little Shop. Little Shop of? Hari. Whores? Whores. Hey, there's a horse. That's my boy. He's a piranha. Yeah, the piranha plant, huh? Hey, wait, Ma. Mm hmm. You want to remember? You what? I want to have when I ain't even when you else. And you what? And you are done with the kid. And I want to hear so for all. Exactly. Hey guys, so today I wanted to sit down and show you some visual schedules. If you don't know what a visual schedule is, then um, it's pretty self-explanatory, I think. Children with autism especially, they do very well with visuals. You, you can tell them what's going to happen next, what you're going to do next, what they're going to do next, and they may not be able to process it. Being able to see it in front of them may help them uh, to better understand what's coming next. So I want to talk about what we've done. Mom, it's time to start going to eat a Just banana. Go put it in the compost. If you don't want to eat it, go put it in the compost. So I want to talk today about things that worked for us and things that have not worked for us. Every child's different, every family dynamic's different. Settings can make a big difference if the visual schedule actually works or not. These are the things that have not worked for us personally at home. Stop hitting the table. Sorry. Thank you. Stay still, baby. Stay still. Okay, so the first one that we tried was basically the same kind of setup that they use at schools. We actually got this one from a school resource um, fair, I believe. So it's, it's pretty nice, right? So this is one that works very well in a structured environment. Put all of these on here, Velcro. It shows you what you're doing now. So like right now you need to brush your teeth. And so when they're done with that, they can either put it back over here or they can put it into the little pocket and it stores everything down there. So that's everything that's finished. The problem with these is that it can look really busy. So this is a lot of the things that you might do during the day. And so to have everything on there, like they can, they would pick and choose and stick whatever they wanted. Also, Eva, when she was a little younger, did not like anything. <laughs> Did not like anything um, like on the walls or anything like that. So she'd tear it down all the time. And then they would also, like, you know, if you put any options on there that like they might be able to do later, like iPad, they're just gonna keep putting that on the now. Having three children, three children in all different directions all day, um, it really didn't work for me. So trying to keep up with even two of them, like I just had Carmelo and Hiddos up did not work because it was constantly changing and so it, I couldn't really keep up with that as like a daily structure. So that one really didn't work too well for us. The next thing that we tried, so I thought maybe if they had something with them all the time and that it might help a little more. Um, you are so ridiculous. I figured if they had something on themselves that I wouldn't have to keep up with the very structured daily schedule. So next thing that we did was we bought a couple of these. Leave them alone. Um, Octopus by Joy. So it was a GoFundMe thing. I heard about it. I thought it would really work. I got the colors that the boys liked, blue and green Ow. at the time. Ow. 
You okay? I'm okay. <laughs> and it comes with this cute charger, which is supposed to be shaped like the octopus, but the boys called it a ghost. So, big downfall. All they wanted to do was play with this, and then the charger would pop out because it was just um, glued in there a little bit. So, yeah, now all these are popped out. Okay, so whatever. The charger, hit oh, baby. The charger just, it's magnetic. So it goes like that. You plug in a charging cable right there. So they're very customizable. You download an app, and on the app, you can control each watch. You had to have the not watch near the phone whenever you went to go sync it, but on the phone you could um, put in like icons. They have a whole bunch of icons. You can customize what it was going to say, things like that, um, and exactly what time you wanted it to, the alert to go off. two that we found with the watches is the boys didn't want to wear watches. The boys didn't want to wear the watches in any form. On their wrist, um, on a necklace, as a pendant, anything like that. And if they weren't wearing it, then they really couldn't tell when uh, an alarm went off because it just gives a little vibration. There's no sound or anything like that. And the button was a little hard for them to push too. There's just a little button on the side right here that you would push to stop the alarm. These didn't work. Didn't, we kept trying them. Over the course of the last couple of years, we've tried them multiple times. It just has never worked for the boys. So structured visual schedules for the boys didn't work in this house because we have multiple children with autism. Mommy! Hi, Hanno. Yeah, he's been a climber since he was nine months old. <laughs> he's been on the counter since he was like two. Yes, sir. Nothing safe in this house. You want to get down, please, right now? Come on. <laughs> he really is. Um, he's a monkey. So we kind of just gave up on visual schedules for a while. Then Carmelo started getting really anxious getting in the car going places screaming having meltdowns whenever we were out and about so i wanted to make something portable for uh, us chocolate popsicles really mark it free and next we have for a purchase and this design does mine it look like designer that look like uh how the chair Thank you. Can you calm down? That's a no. Okay. <clears throat> so I wanted something portable. And so I just racked my brain trying hey, to think of, of something that would work for Carmelo in the car. Something we could take with us. So this is what I came up with. I've never seen this anywhere else. I don't know if they already exist, but this is just what I did. I took an empty DVD case for things that he was really anticipating us doing, like going to the zoo, any big trips, things like that. Well, big trip for him is going to a zoo, a store, a pet store, anything like that. So I printed out a sheet of paper. I will. And then we have icons. We could say, <laughs> go to the park in blank days and we can count down right here so i bought pins with the eraser attached and we could store it in the case so we're going to the park in four days and so on and so forth so he could see that so that we're not going to the park today we're going to the park in four days Ooh, i am a ghost you're ridiculous so inside Ooh. i put a whole bunch of velcro Ooh. and made my own icons Wow. Yeah, wow. And on this side, so, I was like, let I have see. to use this. Mommy, let me see. You want to see it? Look, you remember yeah. these? So where the DVD goes, it's a circle. And so I'm like, I had to use that in some way. So <clears throat> this would be where we would put what we're doing first, second, third, all of that. So I just numbered it. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
you could do like a time. I was gonna do like a time, like what time we were leaving, what time we were gonna be at places, but I just figured this was a lot simpler. And so there's extra space, extra Velcro for more icons. I did icons for going to the doctor, go in the basket, go to the store, get fast food, go to the post office, summer camp, library, <clears throat> gas station, all of those things that we would possibly do on a regular basis. Farmer's market, grocery pickup. So he knew if we were going to go to the pickup versus if we were going to Walmart. Um, one thing that really helped with this is if I could find something that they associate a lot more with the place that we go. It's been a long time. So, like, I found pictures that look like his car seat. I found um, just other things like they love the stethoscopes. So that's the icon for a doctor for them. Uh -uh. Thank you. So things that were familiar to them, like go to church icon is a Bible and a donut because they know that they get donuts at church. So that kind of thing. It, I made it very relevant to them. I have a second case that I keep all of the extra icons in because all, yeah, they're, there's a lot of them. I couldn't stick them all on here. I ran out of room. So this is one that we would take with us in the car for Carmelo. I was gonna make a second one for Hitto, which he doesn't really need it now. He pretty much understands what we say when we're going in the order of what we're doing things. Carmelo needed a little more help on that. So we did that. And then I also, I have so many of these icons, not only for like the to-go schedule, but also, Hitto, you're so ridiculous. You wanna get down, please? but also for our at home schedule. So that's another one that we did. Our refrigerator. I bought a dry erase board, calendar dry erase board, and I stuck it on there with like mounting tape, like picture mounting tape. So it couldn't be ripped off. So Eva can't, couldn't rip this off because she's tried. I do it based on whatever the current week is and I just go from there. So I haven't redone it since last week, as you can see. I'll usually redo it weekly or every two weeks. So this goes all the way out to the first and second weeks of October right now. And this is just the big stuff that we're doing for the day. So our big outing that we would do. So Sunday is typically church um, or we'll have like Sunday Sundays, things like that to put on it. Um, we went to the pet store. Yay! <laughs> and then also Eva's dances, which I have to do dance practice icons for the boys too. And when we're gonna go out in the swimming pool, so they know. So I have a today tab that I can move from day to day, and on that is also more Velcro, so I can stick the activity onto that. And some days that we have. Two main things that we're doing. So like tomorrow we're going shopping. We're not going to Walmart though. So I need to move that one. Um, we're going to a different store tomorrow to go shopping. And then Eva has dance class. And then piano lessons, baseball. So All right. So today we're going out to Antigua Paragon as a summer camp. Yay. <laughs> summer camp is in May. Okay. Um. How is it just mm, Chew with the mouth closed. Thank you. Okay, so I just wanted to show you okay. that what actually works for us, what I had to make up myself to work for our family. And so the big monthly calendar really works well for us. So they know what to expect. I'll also give them the choice of choosing their own icon. So I'll give each child a choice of an icon. So I'm like, oh, toy store. Yeah, or pet store. store which one do you want for the month and then they I'll put that on the calendar I'll let them put it on the calendar but then I'll actually move it to a day when but we can actually I'm do get toy store you want to go to the toy store yay we're going to the toy store next week I think no two weeks <coughs> okay yeah. cool <coughs> yeah let's see how I'm going to write on a horse I'll write back okay. 
You're gonna ride on the horse, of course you are. So I'll give them an option to choose something that we could put on the schedule. So they really enjoy that, they have some control over it and they have something to look forward to. And we can count down the days and show them when something's going to happen. Because they get something in their head and they just wanna do it right now, I we'll have to take them over to the schedule. If it's within the next five weeks, it'll be on there. I can say, no, we're not going this weekend, we're going next weekend. And it's, it's worked out very well. So yeah. Those were just, <laughs> Hitta just has to show off all the time. <laughs> I want you to tell you that. I'm talking about visual schedules. What are you talking about? Yeah, I talk about you. You talk about me? I was just, <laughs> you said me, I witnessed you mm -hmm. to interesting. I love you. Yeah. Why don't you sit down and eat more curry? Okay. Oh, oh my God. So yeah, those are just some of the visual schedules that have and have not worked for us over the course of the last four years. Um, I've only been implementing these really for the last year. This is what is going to stick for us for quite a while, probably until they get better at keeping a watch on or anything like that where they could have more of us on the person scheduler um, <laughs> probably wouldn't be until they're you know teenagers or something maybe they'll get apple watches and they can see what's going on and have a lot more independence over their schedule for now <laughs> these work for us so tell me down in the comments below do you think that these are pretty neat um <laughs> Visual schedules. Have you tried visual schedules at home before? What has and has not worked for you guys? Let me know. You're so right there. No, 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 no. Are you acting like a piranha plant now? No. Okay. I am a hero. You are a hero. Yes. I'm a big boy. You're a big boy? Itadakimasu. <laughs> Now let's eat. Let's eat. <laughs> yeah, he's a ham. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching, guys. As always, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And now, next time, thanks for watching too. And your hat to show up. Bye. Bye. I don't think it will catch the camera. Oh, I like mayo. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> Are you feeding R2D2 a quesadilla? Yes? No? Looks like that's what you're doing. No?